Team has recently announced a new feature called Game Recording. It's way better than NVIDIA's GeForce experience, and today I'm going to show you how to set it up and how it actually works. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Like I said, Steam has finally released Game Recording. It's been in beta for a few months, but now it's finally fully released and everyone can use it. It's really, really good. And I've seen a lot of people say really good things about it. So how do we actually set it up and how, do, how does it work? So if you've used a GeForce Experience or the AMD version of the same thing, basically, whenever you do a certain clip or you hit some shots, get some kills in the game, it can automatically detect that and it can clip it. Same way, for example, you can press the button and it can save the last five minutes of the gameplay or the last minute or whatever. So you don't need to record a whole footage. It's really, really good. And it does wonders for like quick clips or whatever else you're looking for. So if we go to Steam over here and on the left, top left, we click on the Steam icon and then go to settings. If you go into the game recording right over here, you will see everything that is on the new game recording feature. So as you can see, it says new and then you can choose your recording mode. So what do you want? Do you want to record in the background all the time? And then when you click the button, it saves the last X minutes. Or do you want to record manually, basically like I'm doing for this YouTube video, just recording all the time? So you can do it however you want. I prefer recording in the background and then the last five minutes will be clipped when I click the button. You can sh change the shortcut keys over here. So you do start, stop, and then you can do timeline markers. You can take screenshots, whatever else you want. You can also save the last 30 seconds of the gameplay as a clip. You can set up the button right here for it. And then if you scroll down, you will see game specific settings. So you can change if you want for a specific game to save more than five minutes or less than five minutes. If you click on the duration right here, you can change it to however much you want. I prefer five minutes. I think it's a good sweet spot. If you prefer it shorter or longer, you can change that. And then if you want to change it per game, you can actually add a game over here. For example, I want to have 10 minutes for Counter-Strike, but I want uh, 25 minutes for Forza. I can do that. It's really, really good. If you want to have it for every game, you can just change it right over here. It's really sick. Uh, on the quality, you can change the quality right over here uh, from high, ultra, medium, low. You can see right over here which resolution requires how much bitrate. So I usually do high default, but you can do like ultra if you want to have the best looking footage, but it's going to require more you know, space and it's going to just be bigger files. Or you can do low. It's going to look not that good, but it's also not going to use a lot of space. So I choose high. I think that's good. You can choose whatever you want over there. And it's going to say how much this space it is going to use per video. If you scroll down, you can check your uh, recordings folder. You can change it to however or wherever you want it to save. I prefer in videos recording. And then I just made a folder called Steam Recording. And then on the bottom, you can change some certain settings. Uh, where you can enable GPU hardware encoding, which is highly recommended. It's going to use GPU instead of your CPU. So if you have any newer GPU, this should be already, you know, it should have a specific chip like NVENC on NVIDIA, and it should be working fine. If you have issues, you can turn it off, but 99% of the people should not and should have this actually on. Enable HEVC. You can enable this if you want. Uh, some programs, some editing programs might not support this. So keep that in mind. Uh, but, you know, usually nowadays, most do support H.265. Maximum frame rate, I usually choose 60 for games. There's just no point on recording in 30. And then maximum video height. This is, uh, you know, with will be automatically set to preserve the game's aspect ratio, but you're changing the height of the actual video. So if you have, like, I guess, certain monitors, you can change this right over here. I just choose no limit. You can also record your microphone if you want. So no matter, you know, if you're if you're saying something or you want your microphone to be heard like right here, you can enable this. I don't really care. I just want to show my cool clips of, you know, getting some certain kills or hitting a certain shot or whatever. So I don't care about the microphone. You can also choose record audio from game or your whole system. So everything in your windows, everything on your system will be heard in the footage. And that's basically it. Now that we have this set up, we can open the game and see how it actually works. All right, so now that I'm in the game, I can actually show you how it works. If you press Shift Tab, which is the usual Steam overlay, you can see this new thing on top right over here. So you can show you the clips. You can also move this like timeline. If you have uh, certain like hits that you, you did or certain clips that you clipped, 
it will show it right over here. You can also go into the settings right over here and then go into the recording and then set up everything else you want over here. And once you're done, you can either click this clip button and choose what you want clipped or you can click the shortcut and it will do it automatically. Once you've done that, you can check this tutorial clipping tools, how it works. You can like save it, save and share. And if you are done, you can simply click save and you can also share it to your Steam profile so your friends can see how many good shots you actually hit. And that's basically it. That is new Steam game recording feature. It's really simple, doesn't use a lot of resources, and it's really, really good. Let me know if you like this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my OBS guides or just streaming guides in general, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.